So now what we're going to do is instead of looking at putting inputs into the URL as a query or a parameter, we're going to look at how we can capture them from a form, which is more of a realistic scenario. So what I've gone ahead and done is in this example, I've just created a simple form in the body here. And in, in this action part is important. So this action is basically the route that we're going to put a post request in for. So we put action, which is the path here, which is search, and then the method, which is post. Then I have just the label name here, and I have this uh, input here for the name, and then I have a submit button, type equals submit to search. So, and I've, what I've done is for the slash root, I've just told it to load this. So I'm just gonna start this up and show you how it looks. So if I just start up the server, go to localhost 3000, we simply just have a search box here where we can enter a name and then we can click search to search for a profile. So again, what we're going to be doing is returning one of these profiles based on the name that's typed in. So this is some a new module that we need to install um, for this so that we can get information from a form and that's called body parser. And the way you install that is just, it's just the package name is just body dash parser like this. So you want to do npm install body dash parser. And this will go ahead and install it for us. We also have to require it in our file. And the way you do that is you just say let body parser equals require and then just put the body parser in like this. So now we have the body parser. And finally, we want to set up a route for our slash search post so that we can capture this name from the box. So what we can do here is you can do app.post like this, then do slash search, which is the path. And we're going to be giving two functions here. So if the first function is going to be the body parser. Oops, the body parser. And second function is what we want to do. So to do, use the body parser, we simply just run this method here. And if I scroll down, it's just body parser.url encoded. And inside it, you give it an object saying extended.false. So that's the first function we want to run. And this is the middleware function that I'll run next after it's been completed. Next thing you want to do is just do request response like this. And maybe next. So this is the middleware function that we're going to run. So it'll do this first, and then it'll do this, and then, then it will do this. And what I'm just going to do here is just log the request. So if I save this now, and I uh, restart the server, and go here. And then if I put Alice like this, and then click search, what this will do is we can see that the request has been logged here. And what this um, URL this body parser did for us is that inside the request body it's captured the name so it got that name from here where we have this name equals name part so this name right here has been put as this name here and it's captured the input that we put in which is Alice so we have the input now in our request and we can do with it whatever we want So what they want us to do here is simply just to import this um, body parser and then just mount it for all routes. So the first thing we need to do is install the body parser. And to do this, we can use the terminal. So you can just click tools and then terminal and just wait for it to start up. And here we can put npm install body dash parser like this and just wait for that to run. Yeah, it takes a couple of seconds to install. Okay, so that's been installed now. So let's take a quick look at package.json just to make sure. And we can see that body parser is in here now and should be in our node modules. So what they want us to do after we install it is to require it at the top of the file and it's stored in a variable called body parser. So we can just copy this from the docs and we can just put up here. Uh, I'm just gonna change this to let because I prefer that. But let body parser, so this is the variable name, equals a require body parser like this. 
Then we want to mount this middleware um, function, which is the same thing we did before for app.use. So to do that, we'll go into here and where it says part 11 here, we want to set up an app.use here. And we want to do this for, um, pass it to app.use. So we want to do this for all parts at the moment. So we're just going to do um, the same thing that we did before. So we're just going to do this um, body pass it or URL encoded extended equals false. And I think it says here the extended equals false means just do it in the traditional way where we have a query like this. So I can put that in like this and save that. Um, and if I open the live app up, what this will essentially do is when we fill out this form and click submit, it should pass that and then put it into the request body. Um, this should hopefully be everything we need. So let's try pasting that in. And yeah, that's all we needed to do. So it was actually a lot simpler than my example.